bacteriophages and prions so these are all the group of uh, these are all the type of uh, plant uh, sorry these are all the types of pathogens that can cause diseases in plants and as well as uh, animals so now we will see in detail description about uh, bacteriophages and prions and the types of diseases that can uh, caused by them uh, my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so coming to the definition of bacteriophages bacteriophages are the term bacteriophage means bacterial eater though so they are eating bacteria they are killing bacteria that's why it's called as bacterial eater phages means eaters bacterium means bacteria phages bacterial eater so coming to the definition bacteriophages are the viruses which infect bacteria is known as bacteriophages these are all the viruses which infect bacteria is known as bacteriophages so bacteriophages were individually discovered by twatt in 1915 and fd herrily 1917 but the term bacteriophages was coined by fd herrily he is twatt and he is fd herrily so best example of bacteriophages t4 bacteriophage now can on the right side we can see this is the t4 bacteriophage which consists of icosahedral head where the nucleic acid or capsid is packed inside and consists of a collar a long sheath a basal plate we can see basal plate here along with the spikes and there are some tail fibers are present a, normally six tail fibers are present for a bacteriophage as a best typical example is t4 bacteriophage so coming to the description of our to coming to the morphology of uh, this bacteriophage now we will see the head is packed with a double stranded dna so the genome of bacteriophages is double stranded dna the genome is packed inside is double stranded dna but how this dna is packed inside this icosahedral head is unknown but the genome is double stranded rna they will ask questions like this the genome of a bacteriophage or the genome of t4 bacteriophage double stranded dna so the head is a shape of a two halves of an icosahedral connected by the short hexagonal prism this is short hexagonal prism this is two halves hexagonal is a two halves we can see here two halves that is connected by the hexagonal prism this hexagonal prism so the tail is helical we can see the tail tail is helical in shape so this bacteriophages will exhibits a binary symmetry binary symmetry in the sense presence of two types of symmetry is called binary symmetry so the tail is made up of a cubical halo that is surrounded by a contractile sheath this is the tail surround sorry this is the tube that is surrounded by contractile sheath on the earlier we can see here that is connected by contractile sheath see this tube at one end of the tube it is connected by head another end of the tube it is connected by the tail plate or that consists of a six tail fibers at one end of the tube at the first end of the tube it consists of head where the genome or double stranded dna is packed inside on the opposite end of the tube or this opposite end of this uh, tail or sorry the opposite end of this tube or uh, a sheath a tail plate is present where six tail fibers are attached with the, this tail plate this is about the morphology of uh, uh, bacteriophages though here the phases are again there are some types of phases are uh, there now we will see the important one important types the first one is lambda phases first one is lambda phases so they are first discovered by lederberg in 1950 this is also almost same as like of t4 bacteriophage where the dna is packed inside a head similar to that of t phase where style is simple in this uh, 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 lambda type of uh, bacteriophage we can see here icosahedral head where the genome is packed inside and the same uh, tube or you know same contractile sheet tube and where the tail is simple where tail is simple here but the, as a like of t4 bacteriophage it also exhibits binary symmetry of protein coat also exhibit binary symmetry of protein coat the second one is cyanophages back what cyanophages we seen that uh, we had seen that uh, definition of bacteriophage in the sense virus virus that infect bacteria or kill the bacteria is known as bacteriophages whereas cyanophages virus that infect cyanobacteria all blue green algae is known as cyanophages they can infect blue green algae or cyanobacteria is known as cyanophages it was first discovered by safferman and morris in 1963 these are this is about cyanophages electron microscopic pictures of cyanophages so that was first discovered by safferman and morris in 1963 so these are also dna virus which consist of head and icosahedral in shape of with a long tail 
so here uh, three cyanobacteria that is parasitized by lingba four medium plectonema which indicates the initial uh, first letters of their uh, name lpp1 so this is lpp1 which parasitizes the cyanobacteria that parasitized by the cyanophages so these are all the species that can be parasitized so coming to the life cycle of uh, bacteriophages there are two types of life cycle can be seen first one is lytic phase second one is lysogenic phase so lytic phase is otherwise called as virulent phase whereas lysogenic phase is otherwise called as temperate phase now we'll see one by one first one is lytic phase so in lytic phase there are some steps in a lytic phase which are present the first one is adsorption adsorption or attachment adsorption or attachment so here in first step the bacterial phase this is the bacterial phase come in contact with the bacteria or the host bacterium with the receptor sites these are the small nodule like structures are present these are the receptor sites so with the help of a tail with the help of a tail or sorry that tail fibers that can attach to the host receptors of the host bacterium so the most of the bacterium can be attached to the cell wall some may be can also attach to the flagella or pili because the bacteria have a flagella or pili so most of the bacterium can normally attach to sorry bacterial phase normally attach to the host of host of the bacterial cell wall but sometimes may attach to the uh, you know uh, cell uh, sorry that is uh, fili or uh, you know uh, fimbri or flagella so the specific strains of bacteriophages can only absorb or the specific strains of host bacteria this is known as viral specificity in the sense some specific site of some specific strains of bacteriophages can only infect specific strains of bacteria that is called viral specificity they need a strictly specific host for their infection that is called viral specificity so the second one is penetration so after attachment the bacteriophage has to after absorbing our attachment the bacteriophage has to produce some enzymes for the drilling a hole into the bacterial cell wall so after attachment what will happen it it it, it drills a small hole this is about a small uh, you can see here a small hole that can produce enzymes that can drill a small hole so with the help of tail pins that can drill a small hole and inject the it's a genome that is a double stranded genome into the into the bacterial self with the genome which are actually present in icosahedral head through this tube the genome is injected into the bacteria so the genome is injected into the bacteria sometimes the pili or flagella also can mediate the entry into the bacteria the entry into the bacteria so there is no uncoating will be required because only genome only enter into the bacterial cells there is no head or other parts of a bacteriophage are enters into the so because of that the no uncoating will be required here the genome is actually present in head the genome which is present in the head is injected into the bacteria so genome alone entering so there is no uncoating will be required as like of a plant viruses in the third step replication will happens after entering into the bacterial cells enzyme coded by the bacteriophage sir enzymes are coded by the bacteriophage genome can shut down so it can overtake the actually it can overtake the machinery of a bacteria as like a plant viruses after the bacteriophage genome entering into the bacterial cells it can overtake the machinery of a bacteria and can force to produce the components that is required by the bacteriophage so the bacterial case phase can reply uh, replicate inside the plant inside the bacterial cell and it can force the bacteria to produce the essential components that is required until the metabolic activity or machinery or bacterial synthesization is under control of now bacteriophage genomes so the bacteriophages produce some enzymes and the bacteriophage structural components can be produced due to the production of different types of enzymes the bacteria start to produce the structural components required by the bacteria so bacteriophage so in maturation after uh, production of all the essential components uh, by bacteria so the phase starts to assemble all the parts so let us consider different types of plant parts are produced maybe tube or genome or the contractile sheath or different or tail plates are there produced individually after maturation what will happen the phase start to assemble all the parts of its genome that can make into the complete bacteriophage particles so after that uh, assembling all the particles usually the bacteria coded are produce some lysosomes lysosomes which destruct or which cleaves the cell cell walls 
so due to the production of this lysogen they break down the bacterial peptidoglycan because the cell wall is uh, cell wall of bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan so due to this lysogen that can break down the peptidoglycan by osmotic lysis and can release the bacteriophage into the outside of the cell so after bacteriophage are released they can uh, again they can go to some other cells and can uh, infection will continue as like of the process that we have seen now so the reinfection so minimum for the reinfection from for for, for infected cell minimum 50 to 200 bacteriophages are produced from an infected bacteria let us consider initially one bacteriophage is coming in contact with the bacteria after infection process is over some single bacteria produce 550 to 200 bacteriophages again this 50 to 200 bacteriophages will go and uh, infect some other cells and it can multiply the number into millions and billions so here now we can see the process how it happened it initially come in contact absorption after the absorption the genome is penetrated into the inside the bacterium it is multiplied the different copies are all the copies are produced assembling all the assembling and the lysogem is uh, after assembling the lysogem is produced and the bacterial cell be lysed we can see once again penetration absorption penetration genome multiplication and genome assembly lysis and then release it into the outside and again reinfection process will happen this is about uh, lytic phase otherwise called as virulent phase now the second one is lysogenic phase so this type of growth of life cycle can be observed by andrew luff he is a noble laureate uh, he was worked in uh, pasture research institute for many years so this type of life cycle of uh, bacterial phase was discovered by andrew luff so the phase that shows this lysogenic cycle is called a temperate phase that I already told you earlier. Lytic phase is otherwise called as virulent phase whereas lysogenic phase is otherwise called as temperate phases. Because the bacteria which occurs in this uh, or the strains which occurs in this uh, temperate phases or lysogenic phase is called lysogenic process. So what are lysogenic strains? The entire process which happens is called as lysogeny. So now we will see the process. So in this phase, the phase become integrated with the chromosome of the host cell is known as prophase. During this prophase, the bacteriophage genome is integrated into the genome of bacteria. Here no lysis or no killing can be happened. Remember, the genome of bacteriophage is injected. In here we can see first stage. Initially the bacteriophage is coming in contact. The second step is the bacteriophage genome is injected into the bacterial cell second step the third step is the genome of bacteriophage is integrated with the bacterial genome so after that what will happen the bacteriophage genome integrated with the chromosomal genome they can start to exhibit their characters so after exhibiting their characters they can integrate and they, uh, when when binary fission will happens the characters of the bacteriophage and the characters of the bacteria both will transmit i mean uh, go to the offsprings so for generation to generation the characters of the bacteriophage will go on here in this phase the bacteriophage genome is integrated into the bacterial genome so here during division and reproduction their progenies that can be transmitted from bacteria to bacteria this prophase the characters of this bacteriophage can be transmitted from transmitted to offsprings to the generation to generation so the bacteria carrying a prophase without being lysis here the cell is not killed the bacterial cell is not killed in the entire lysogenic cycle so this is called lysogenic bacteria and the entire process is called lysogeny here in lysogeny very simple the back the bacteriophage genome is integrated with the bacterial genome and can start to express and can further generation it carried out so now we will see what are all the uses of bacteriophages in a plant disease control so coming to the bacteriophages uh, in plant disease control, Steiner in 1967 reported that it will completely inhibit the tumor production or the tumor induction of a highly virulent strain of agrobacterium tumor fashions when we inoculate this bacteriophages after 21 hours. So after 21 hours of inoculation, a highly virulent strain of agrobacterium can be inhibited to produce this tumor circles. So it has a capability to produce or induce to reduce to insert, sorry to get to can cut down the production of a tumor cell galls from a virulent strain of a bacterium that is agrobacterium tumefaciens and again a significant side reduction that is 42 to 73 to 43 to 72 percent of uh, tomato plants can be obtained or the tumor reduction size can be obtained 
when the phases are inoculated 3 hours before the bacterial inoculation that was reported by Boyd et al in 1971. So if we inoculate the phases 3 hours before the bacterial inoculation, a gall size can be reduced 43 to 72 production in tomato plants. So the coming to next diverse group of uh, pathogens that is prions. So prions are coming to the definition, prions are very small infectious particles that is normally are composed of abnormally folded proteins, abnormally folded proteins and it is ability to transmit this misfolded shape or this misfolded nature to the normal variants of a protein. Very simple, it is an infectious protein and it has ability to transmit their infectious nature to other normal protein. It, let us consider it is an infectious protein. It is a normal protein. This infectious protein has the ability to transmit their nature to uninfected proteins that is prions. So it was first discovered by Stanley Prusner in 1984. For that he got Nobel Prize in 1997. The, he is Stanley Prusner. So no plant disease has been reported that is caused by prions so far. So prions causes a disease only in animals and in humans but not in plants. So prions are sometimes called as slow viruses because of their slow effect. So that can infect or it can show the symptoms as well as it, kill the, it can kill the host very slowly. That is can, that's why it is called as slow viruses because of their slow effect. So now we will see some of the uh, prion diseases. The, so first one is crappy disease. It was caused in sheep and goat. So we can see the symptoms. If you see the symptoms. Uh, the spur can be uh, slowly starts to uh, get down or maybe uh, you know uh, slowly reduced uh, it can it look like a shaved but it's not shaved it can be uh, loosed uh, itself because of this uh, prion disease the second one is mad cow disease otherwise called as bovine spongy sperm encephalopathy that is called uh, uh, that happens in uh, uh, cattle so we can see here uh, that is a prion disease that is a mad cow disease in the cattle. So this is due to this prion disease the cattle can't able to stand their own legs and can the neurofunctional disorder can be seen and it can uh, behave like uh, uh, mad that's why it's called a mad cow disease abnormal uh, behavior can be seen in uh, cows. And in deer and mouse, it can cause chronic wasting disease. Whereas in humans, important one, it can cause Crutchfield Jacob disease. That is CJD. Crutchfield Jacob disease is a disease caused by the prions in humans. Due to this disease, what will happen? Brain shrinkage and deterioration of uh, brain cells can be happen very rapidly. So due to this, what will happen? The brain cells slowly reduce or slowly reduce its capability of functioning or the uh, nervous connections with the other body parts can be slowly reduced so that the plant able to sorry sorry the brain can't able to generate the signals that can be transmitted to the different body parts. This is a uh, credible Jacob disease and again is a Kuru disease. This is about Kuru disease. The Kuru infected a small boy which look like very lean and you know muscles. There is no muscles and he can he can't able to stand in his own leg because the, the connection between the brain cells and other body parts is completely lost so that he can't able to stand on his own legs. So if a Kuru disease will come, uh, if, a Kuru, if a man can be infected by the Kuru disease, uh, uh, he can uh, he can be alive from ranges from 40 to 20 months within that uh, after that he can die so why this guru disease or credible jacob disease will come if we have if we eat a meat of uh, a brain infected by this guru disease or sorry brain infected by this prion disease if we if we can't cook this uh, brain properly if we eat this infected brains of uh, uh, animals as well as uh, humans we will get this uh, disease and other uh, one more disease that is caused in uh, humans is fatal familial insomnia this is the disease also uh, caused by prions in humans so this is about uh, bacteriophages and prions so all the videos uh, regarding this uh, 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 plant virology course is available to our channel geeky researchers so this is the end of uh, plant virology uh, we can come again with a new course soon